and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes so that you can save your time as well as improve your problem solving skills so without wasting time let's get started so today's problem of the day is array pair sum divisibility problem which is also a medium level problem and uh, i also think the same and let's find out what we will be given and what we have to do in the problem so we will be given an nums array which will be having some integers uh, positive integers and we will be given a k it can be anything a positive number integer as well so what we have to do we have to divide the array okay we have to divide the array in such a way that every pair okay every pair like we have to divide the array numbers into pairs and every sum pair sum should be divisible by k okay so if we can do this we will be returning true otherwise we will return false okay uh, come on one more time what we have to do we have to divide the array into such pairs such that their sum is divisible by k okay so i think the problem statement is clear so now let's jump to how are we going to solve this so i've written something for you let's go there okay okay so here I think I have explained this. This is what we have to do and uh, divide array in pairs such that each pair sum is divisible by k. Okay. After that, what's the idea? So, look, if there are two numbers n1 and n2, okay, if there are two numbers n1 and n2, and if n1 modulus k is x, means on dividing n1 with k, I get x remainder, and on dividing n2 with k, I get y remainder, and if x plus y equal to k, if x plus y equal to k, so I can say that n1 plus n2, the sum of n1 plus n2 will be divisible by k. Okay, how can I say n1 plus n2 is divisible by k if the remainder is 0? I think that's it. It's that simple and uh, basic thing. So I have explained this with an example as well that uh, if n1 equal to 28 and n2 equal to 12, so and n2 equal to 10, k equal to 10. So look here you can see 28 modulus 10 is 8, 12 modulus 10 is 2. So here we can see that 8 plus 2 is equal to 10, which is equal to k. Okay, so if this is true, it means the sum of this will be divisible by k. So 28 plus 12 is uh, 40 and 40 modulus 10 is 0. So that's it. I think uh, you might have guessed it right. And it's that simple. So if you have got the approach, so you can go forward and uh, try to solve it by yourself. Otherwise not, let's check this. So we will be using map to store the reminders okay and suppose uh, okay so on like so once i get the number 12 28 so i will divide it by 10 and i will store the remainder into the map so in map i will store the remainder 8 okay and the frequency is 1 okay and after that again when 12 number come came so i will again divide 10 equal to 2 so now the remainder is 2 i will first of all check into the map if i have 10 minus 2 means k minus 2 if i already have this so yes i have already this so in that case i will remove this okay i will remove this from map uh, otherwise if it's not there so i will store this 2 into the map okay so in this way i'm going to do it I'm using map and uh, one thing more thing so if suppose there is 4 comma 4 and k is also 4 okay so in this way also we have to have um, pairs okay so k equal to 4 now in that case also we have to get some pairs so in this case only when both when the numbers will be having the remainder zero this approach will fail so for that i will be simply having a count variable and i will increment it once we get a, a number with a zero remainder and if at last the number of count of those numbers who give remainder zero is uh, even it means we have we can make them pairs as well okay so if map dot size is zero and count of numbers with zero remainder is even at the last so we can say that the we will return true it means we can divide the array okay i think that's it let's jump to the code section and write the code for it quickly okay all right so uh, we will be using the map data structure here but before using that look we have to make the pair so if the size of array is odd okay if the size of array is odd we cannot make we cannot have the pairs okay so if uh, let's just have the int n equal to nums dot length okay and if n modulus 2 not equal to zero it means we uh, the size is odd and we cannot have the pairs so i will return false okay and uh, after that let in one more thing we have uh, uh, zero them zero reminder so zero reminders i will be counting separately as i already explained so i have uh, taken one variable for it and after that map integer that's it i will use the map so now let's iterate over the array okay so if i modulus k 
equal to zero, I will increment my zero rem. Okay, okay, all right. So if now let's calculate our target. Oh, sorry, I'm using JavaScript too much. That I'm using let. I'm writing let again and again. So let target equal to what? I. So I will be searching for what? I will be searching for k minus k minus i modulus k. Okay, as I've already explained this, k minus i modulus k. Because I am get looking for the target such that the sum of target and uh, remainder is uh, equal to k. Okay. So if mp dot contains key mp dot contains key what target so i will be have to remove this i have to remove this from the map this target okay so but if if the target's length is one look if the target frequency is one so i will remove it but if the target frequency is more than one so i will be decreasing the frequency by one okay so uh, let's write let's get the frequency first i can write it in one line as well but i'm just if frequency is 1 mp dot remove target else mp dot put target comma frequency minus 1 I can write it in one line as well but I'm just writing it so that you can understand it easily else what else I'm going to put what the remainder i modulus k and uh, let's increment the previous frequency of it by 1 something like this i modulus k comma 0 plus 1 i think you already know what this this means what does this mp dot get or default does okay uh, yeah that's it let's at last return as i already explained what we will be checking mp dot size should be 0 and then oh and then uh, 0 rem modulus 2 will should be even so modulus 2 equal to 0 okay that's it. I think let's try to run this once and I think it should be getting accepted into the first try. Mm -hmm. True. Let's submit it. What's this? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Submit it. Let's check when whether it's oh. Okay. Okay, I think I've missed something. Let me check. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So if uh, I'm getting this, so I'm no, I don't have to proceed further. I will just want to go to the next number which I'm missing currently. Okay, so if I modulus k, I will case my zero rem and I will just move to the next iteration. I will should not go here. Okay, otherwise it will make some issues. So let's try to submit it once again. I think it should be getting accepted. Yeah, great. So I, I have solved this after a long time. I think I solved it last time in 2021. Yeah, I solved it in 2021. Okay, so that's it. I think it was a great problem, fantastic problem, and uh, a solution was also great. I think the explanation and all. So please like, share, and subscribe if you have loved the solution. I'm making this video at 1 a.m. in the night again. Okay, so yeah, and happy new year, guys, everyone. I'm gonna see you again tomorrow. Please subscribe the channel, please, because it will motivate me more and more. And uh, yeah, comment what's your what's what you liked in this video, and I'm gonna see you again tomorrow. Till then, keep on coding and bye.